How's it? Today is Monday, March 27th. I am doing hang lifts today. So, doing three singles of uh, hang snatch at 90. Three singles, well, three one plus ones at 120 for the hang clean and jerk. Um, on Saturday, I deadlifted a PR. I did 185 for a set of five which is like 407 pounds and that is the most I've done for a set of five the most I've ever deadlifted for a single is 190 and I was only five kilos away from that for a set of five so I firmly believe I would have been able to PR a single on Saturday but I didn't the reason I'm bringing this up is because my back today is absolutely trashed my lower back feels like it's it's sensitive to the touch so there is definitely a ton of um, delayed onset muscle soreness that I'm experiencing it's honestly a little weird I don't usually feel like this especially in my lower back if anything I feel like this in my upper back my mid back something like that was happening on Friday but my lower back is just gassed. I, I don't know if it was solely due to the deadlifting or um, kind of going out on Saturday for my friend's birthday. But whatever it is, I am here today, kind of four weeks out from the meet upcoming, which is on, I think, April 22nd. I don't remember. Is it? It might be April 23rd. I think it's April 22nd, though. And trying my best to be better for snatches today. Um, Friday was the day I had, you know, two for 16. So I had 14 misses. And I talked with my coach this morning, and we kind of went over a bit about perhaps why I was missing. And it was just like executing on my, my upper body a little bit was a little bit off. And it was a little bit lumbering and slow after extension, you know, for some of my lifts. That's a common theme that I've said a lot in the past. And today I was just trying my best to fix that. And one thing that Steve was saying was that, like, if I stand tall with my legs and my hips and then kind of snap or like a quick change of direction afterwards, that is the goal that I'm trying to, to, to do. So I do think that that was better here. This is my first set at 90. The second one I think is better than that. And I think the third one is... Is okay. I think they're, I mean, they're all pretty easy. I'm just trying my best to be a little bit quicker under. And I'm trying to lift, honestly, like in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining how Jason lifts. Because Jason is extremely hip dominant. And then his arms kind of just end up being wherever they are. Like that was pretty good, I think. I mean, it was pretty easy. I, I don't know if that's what I'm ultimately looking for at the end of the day with like heavyweights, but we'll see. Uh, my cleans here were a little bit wonky, and then my jerks were all pretty good. So I go 60, 90, 110, and then 120, 120, 120. So, here, my cleans, it honestly doesn't look too bad. Uh, the warm-up cleans are all easy. So, even 110 after this here, pretty easy here. I'm looking at the, the side angle here. Um, jerk again, not a problem. But, for my top sets here, 120, the next set. It looks like I'm not getting to complete extension, but I'm still able to get under the bar, and that's okay. I would like that to not be the case. You see there, I have to like kind of fix myself. Um, bar's going a little bit further forward than I would like it to. And then these jerks are, are easy. Um, when I was doing the jerks, I was thinking, geez, I don't know if I can do it, but I kind of just stuck it out and went went with it 
again, my lower back was giving me a lot of issues. So trying to lean forward over for extension was problematic. And I can, I can guarantee that, not guarantee, I can blame, make an excuse for myself that a lot of the reason why the cleans felt off was due to my inability to keep my chest over the bar um, right at the start position. So right here. Like even though that looked like it was okay, that kind of push forward of my elbows under the bar was not great. Um, and then again, jerks are all pretty easy. Uh, yeah, my camera died. I was upset. Uh, and then after that, I moved into my pull-ups and my GHG sit-ups because Steve was like, all right, we don't need to necessarily do any of this, the RDLs anymore. As we move forward, we move closer to um, the meet, right? So four weeks out. So um, I think it's, what, four Saturdays from now. Like, in counting this Saturday, which is Saturday is going to be the first. But, yeah, I am excited. We'll see what happens. I have taken that Friday and Saturday off. So I don't have uh, any amount of walking on my legs, um, you know, at the restaurant or lifting stuff at the restaurant. So, again, really, really excited for how this is going to pan out. Hopefully, I can PR a total. Who knows? But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.